wrap for the month of April 2024. Hello, my Care Bears. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie. Thank you for everyone who has by liking, subscribing, and sharing. I really appreciate the love. I'm also available for readings and $20 email readings. That still applies. You can check that out in the link in the description box below. So this week on the 1st at 6.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mercury is in retrograde till the 25th. So two weeks before and two weeks after, we can feel the effects of this energy. This could be a frustrating time for some of you because when we have a stellum in the seventh house we're relying more on other people at this time with this energy here so for some of you you could be relying others for a car ride for others of you you could be relying on others to take care of you or you're relying on symbiotic relationships or dealing with symbiotic relationships at this time so you're kind of like this month at the mercy of others and then your Uranus in your eighth house you have to be on other people's time with this energy or you benefit through other people during this time period may not be the easiest energy we do have like one little tiny fire trying here in the first fifth and no in the second oh yeah yeah i gotta think about this in the third seventh and eleventh house but it's one little tiny fire trying so for some of you, this could be um, growth happening for you when in regards to career, in regards to media and social media, in regards to business picking up. This could also be receiving some good news at this time. For some of you, this is a really auspicious time in regards to growth with the media and the social media. Hi, F1DD. Oh, fidel fiddles? <laughs> fiddle sticks? Fiddle sticks. I don't know. Oh, sorry. So for some of you here, this could also be you're relying on other people at this time to help you out. For some of you, this is change happening with your relationships. Hades and Coronas are now direct in your 10th house, but you're still going through changes. Hi, Chris. So change is happening at this time. This could also be getting a job for some of you and something like deals, anything that deals with service and helping out others with this energy or this could be your business changing oh it is fiddlesticks ah oh cool so this could be you helping out others at this time the way you help out others could be changing as well so your responsibilities at work could be changing for some of you the way you do business could be changing during this time period as well i would be careful with everybody could you could be really sensitive at this time and you can you want your thank you and you may not be getting it you could be feeling devalued at work hi sonia i'm good Hi, for friend Ellen. So you could be receiving a lot of phone calls and messages from friends and family. You could also be reconnecting with people from your past that you haven't spoken to in a long while. Then on the 5th at midnight, Venus enters Aries. You may have resentment or develop a persecution complex from a lack of fulfillment at this time. If married, this is a time when your relationships can be tested. For some of you, you may not be getting along with those in authority at this time with this energy. Either you or your partner wants more freedom in the relationship. I feel for some of you here, again, you're not getting along with those in authority at this time. Not the best time for dealing with symbiotic relationships here because you need to be on other people's time or you need to compromise a lot or sacrifice a lot during this time period. Hi, Daniel. Or you may not like the pricings of things, not the best time for haggling here. So you may have to come up a lot with other people or whatever it is that you're doing at this time. So you could be looking for a second opinion with this energy. I feel like you could be reevaluating your relationships with others, symbiotic relationships with others, business partnerships, love relationships. Here, there may not be much reciprocation going on or you could feel like other people, you could feel like you're doing all the work at this time with this energy here, okay? Okay. And this could be dealing with business partnerships. And this person, you may feel like this person is not doing their job. They're not holding up their end of the bargain, that kind of thing. Also, you could be developing some kind of trust, trust issues this month with other people. So you're not so quick to jump into new um, relationships or new business partnerships for other people to help your goals with, okay? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, scared of me. Well, congratulations. No. Hi, Tarek. So, I feel like at this time 
here you can kind of you need to kind of back off on others and give other people their space and you need to allow to pe people to do what they're going to do at this time instead of putting pressure on them or you know making their job harder by doing things that you know like everything is a process at this time so you have to be part of this process plus is mercury in retrograde with this energy here so it's not the most auspicious time for pushing for your agenda okay i'm doing horoscopes right now So anyways, I feel like at this time with Mercury in retrograde, you need to give this energy a break and kind of go through your process during this time period instead of trying to push for something that you want. I get it. I want, you know, I want a million dollars, you know, but I'm trying. I'm just continuously doing this process with this energy here. You know, so, you know, it's up to you what you want to do with this energy. But whatever you're trying to do at this time, you need people to help you because Uranus. We only got one more year with Uranus in your eighth house. And then when it's in your ninth house, that's going to be a much better energy for you. Okay. Do your ears hang low? Do you wobble? Do they swell? All right. So... Yeah, so this is like one more year of that. So for now, you have to learn to be on other people's time at this time, you know, and let go of control. Oh, my Lanta. Okay. Then on the 8th, at 2.21 p.m., the new moon solar eclipse is happening. You can feel like you're doing all the work in the relationships. You could be dealing with a symbiotic relationship and feeling like you're doing everything. You're getting all the papers. You're doing all the filing. You know, like basically you're looking for your own job at this time and they're not helping. Um, so, you know, again, not the easiest energy time for you. Again, you have to rely on the process. You have to trust the process at this time which is easier said than done well thank you doesn't fat still mean like pretty or something or like you're cute <laughs> oh thank you mary i appreciate that so anyway so you could be reevaluating your direction that you're going into at this time or you could be thinking about letting go of certain people in your life at this time hi parker um so it could be like that. So this is some, this could be like you may end up going back to this person in the future or using this person in the future. You could also be suspicious of other people at this time. This could also be dealing with other people at work. So I would be careful with the conversations that you're having in your head at this time because it's a very negative dialogue. Uranus in the eighth house can be alleviated. Unfortunately, if you delve into spirituality and you delve into God, consciousness you know it helps that energy so right now you're just in a mood about how everything is not working out mercury is in damn retrograde the planets have a cardinal square okay the planets right now suck okay if you would like a yearly check it out in the link in the description box below based on your date of birth time and place and i can show you all right so this is not the most auspicious time this month for you when pushing your agenda or fighting for what you want at this time. So you're gonna have to be a little bit more patient or work on focusing on the things you can control and the things that make you happy in your life, okay? Hi, Finnegan. Ah, Finnegan, I don't get these names right so far. You're very good hearted and you're sensitive, yet you're stubborn and you're determined, which is awesome but wrong time you're emotionally unconventional you can be mysterious silent and sullen or put a happy face on when you're not happy your nervous tension needs to stop and you need to work on relaxing more and yeah you might be feeling like you're in lack consciousness and you need to make things happen because you know you're in lack consciousness i totally get it but at the same time you could try to push 
all you want and i promise you nothing is going to happen at this time so it is what it is with the energies even with me i got to pick and choose my battles with the stars you know and it's like i do like do my own astrology on myself and stuff like that like this month i did my own astrology and it's all about basically me working on myself but my money situation is going to be good and i'm going to be a lot more popular and okay sure the call cat br okay sure you want to be a moderator there you go so you know it could be like that with this energy here you know i can't tell the energies what to do even with me you know for the longest time i've been in my saturn dasha for the longest time you know and now i'm getting out of it with this energy here you lelo you leolo oh i don't know i'm sorry probably stoned so anyway so it could be like that at this time with this energy so just just try to be aware of that you know it's not the easiest energy time to try to get your way you're welcome so it could be things like that your nervous tension and uncontrolled emotions often manifest as over talkative sense um tendencies or just really intense kind of attitude around people with this energy as well um you treasure personal freedom but must careful must be careful when choosing friends you benefit from artistic outlets like like writing you know you guys are very creative at this time it doesn't mean that you'll use it but you should delve into your um creativity thank you parker may god help you to purposefully matt purposely mindedness i don't get that but may god help you too may you find peace with yourself so horoscopes so it could be like that you often take on other people's problems rather than dealing with yours um for some of you here you spoil others but then you resent it with this energy here as well then on the 19th at 10 a.m the sun enters taurus in your eighth house so this is highlighting the traits of scorpio at this time you may not be getting along with family you may not be on speaking terms with certain family members for others of you this could be a breakup happening but it may not be it could be more like a temporary separation and it could be like a six month process of trying to break up with this person with this energy here as well well that's a lot of balls okay so it could be a temporary separation happening that is going on here and you two are just going to be working on ending the relationship or figuring out what is going to happen or it could be until pluto goes retrograde that you will finally, you know, make a decision because Pluto and retrograde in Capricorn means I think I can do better. So it could be like that kind of situation happening as well. So yeah, for some of you, this could be dealing with inheritance, taxes, or this could be dealing with, you know, like wills and lawsuits at this time. Bye, Parker. So it could be like that kind of stuff happening. Volcanus direct at this time in your 11th house with this energy here. So this is growth happening during this time period. So this could be a beautiful time for growth for some of you here. Or this could be a, a slow moving forward situation going on at this time. Okay, so that can happen. Let me see. But Vulcan is also squaring your eighth house. So again, you know, during this time period, you know, this could be an energy here where you are dealing with delays and setbacks when it comes to pushing for your agenda and what you want to do at this time. All right. So you need to be about bigger picture. Again, delve into God consciousness at this time. Tap into his energy and stuff. Work on, you know, focusing on you and controlling yourself. I know it's easier said than done. I know y'all got to touch it, see it in order to believe it, you know. And, you know, I've been there and done that too. And I've never lost faith. You know, there is God. And I have never lost faith in that you know i always believed in god and angels and all that stuff you know and it's worked me through my hardship with this energy so it you know so it's like that so then on the 23rd at 7 49 p.m the full moon in scorpio this could be dealing with money you could be very restrictive with money at this time with this energy you may be interested in the worth of how, how much something costs this is definitely volcan in the 11th house forming a square with the sixth 
second, eighth, and eleventh house, you need to be careful with purchases that you make at this time, especially big purchases, because you may not you may not be happy with what you bought. You may have buyer's remorse at this time. You may not be on speaking terms right now with certain people. This could be whoever has to leave your life. Let them leave your life. Not the best time with dealing with money matters. This could also be buyer's remorse. For others of you, this could be dealing with, again, unexpected expenditures, things breaking down around the home, so see it as an upgrade. For some of you, you may have problems with the car because palace is in your third house at this time this could also be having a falling out with friends um, here so disagreements because you're stuck in your way of thinking they're stuck in their way of thinking so nobody's gonna come to a compromise at this time this is also um, like also this could be trying to control your finances at this time and being more strict with your finances your emotional attachments to objects may be stronger so you may lose your phone at this time with this energy here hi robin um for some of you here this could be getting rid of things that no longer apply in your life you could be decluttering your home with this energy or selling things or giving things away at this time you tend to go above and beyond for others but be careful with this because make sure you're helping for the sake of helping. This is a great time for those of you in service to others or those of you in the healthcare field. On the 25th at 8.54 a.m., Mercury goes direct. People are leaving your life now and people are coming back into your life. So your, your relationship sector could be like a revolving door at this time with this energy here. Um, you are still dependent or at the mercies of others. A communication breakdown and picky you can be picky about agreements also this could be also certain contracts may no longer apply in your life at this time with this energy here or you could be getting out of certain obligations with other family members at this time this could be nullifying a um nullifying a contract at this time for some of you could be ending a project at this time and moving on to a different project with this energy here you have a lot of masculine energy at this time so just be aware of that okay you have a lot of masculine energy at this time with this energy so you are very analytical in your way of thinking i would be careful with this energy because you could have a lot of like problems with females at this time because you're more masculine energy so those of you who are females you may have a lot of problems with other women because you have like um problems like putting yourself in other people's shoes you have a problem with empathy at this time with this energy you're very straightforward and honest and you tell it like it is but other people may, may not appreciate that especially other females in your life okay hi rodolph it's Rodolph, Rodolfo, okay, Rodolfo. So there could be like that going on at this time. So, you, you know, so just be aware of your masculine energy. You can be, you can at times be empathetic and try to put yourself in other people's shoes when you're talking to them. Um, you can be a little bit snappish at this time with this energy. I know, it's so cute, right? So it could be like that. I feel like also for some of you here that you can be very intense at this time because the stellum in your air, in air you know you get more with spit than you don't get more with spit you get more with sugar than you do with spit and vinegar so just be aware of that you're not trying to obligate yourself to other people's agendas so certain people in your life could actually be avoiding you and staying away from you at this time because you're so straightforward and honest because you're so dominating at this time with this energy here as well um, during this time period alrighty I, well, check out my homepage. I say a lot about Pisces on my homepage. So it could be that happening for you at this time, all righty? So just be aware of that. Then on the 29th, Venus goes into Taurus, and this is in your eighth house. I feel like for some of you here, you could be dealing for tit for tat with this energy here. Not the best time for like reciprocating energy. So this could be like dealing with family at this time or arrangements that you make with family, like staying in their house for a while while you like figure your life out and stuff like that. It may not be the easiest energy time for that, okay? For some of you here, this can be, God forbid, breakups. But like I said, we're doing it during Mercury retrograde mercury is direct yes but then we still have the shadow period so this could be like you two trying to figure out 
where you guys stand in the relationship for the next six months. You may not be on speaking terms with other people. So whoever has to leave your life, let them leave your life. You do benefit through others at this time. For some of you, this is a great time for alliances and collaborations now that Mercury is direct. <coughs> um, for some of you, love can happen during this time period. There's more stability in love or love relationships. So there could be more emotional validation or your partner could be really like showing you that they love you and appreciate you and stuff like that or they may show you like through th thick and thin they're not going anywhere so it could be something like that happening with this energy here while the rest of the world hates you your partner is like still your rock at this time you know and still with you and still loves you and whatever you decide to do they're still there for you you know so this could also be you purchasing a car or something like that making big purchases at this time um, there could be some delays in the negotiations again with other people so you may have to come up with others not the best time to haggle okay so don't plan on haggling for example like buying a house yeah you know so some people may be actually looking for the pricing of the house or you may have to get it pretty close up there okay so it could be a situation like that or you could be working on getting a loan at this time dealing with health insurance at this time so it may be things like that with this energy here so it's not until the planets start moving out of your seventh house and into your eighth house where you benefit through other people that the energy start getting better with this energy here i'll talk about whatever the hell i want to talk about all right thank you like i said you need to find peace within yourself you're a very angry person for no reason which is weird all right so anyways there could be delays happening at this time with this energy here so expect that so it's not until like after all the planets start moving into your eighth house that you know people start working for you all right um i'm doing sagittarius videos tomorrow but my weekly horoscopes are up you could check that out all righty check out my horoscopes on my on my channel so then on the 30th at 11 33 a.m mars enters aries not the best placement for this mm -mm, because it's very passionate with this energy here you may meet somebody with a significant age difference from you for some of you this could be a new relationship with somebody younger than you um with your current love relationship you two could be fighting a lot more than usual um with this energy you could be butting heads with other people at work you're very analytical in your way of thinking so you need to you need to put yourself in other people's shoes you need to be more about your feminine energy as well alrighty but you could definitely be getting yourself into power struggles with others so try not to do that no it's just because I'm trying to finish these horoscopes as quickly as possible without burning me out and I'm trying to get my weeklies to do and I might do the same thing with my weeklies too because this seems to be quicker for me that's all that is this is me trying to be productive and trying to you know put them all here all right well then I'll see you tomorrow okay king king of games it's a date Mwah. <laughs> well I'll see you tomorrow anyway so it's a date kisses Mwah. bye so anyway so whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish at this time or reach at this time this would be a more auspicious time to ask other people for help during this time period for some of you this could be growth with business happening um, this could be business picking up. This could be a good time for traveling, higher education with this energy here as well. This is legal matters coming to a successful conclusion. Involvements with others seem to revolve around practical matters. And you're more prone to talk shop with others. So this would be a great time for networking. Hi, Sunu. Uh, I don't know. I don't really feel like answering questions, to be quite honest. So anyways, the first card I come up with is the Ace of Cups. I do see emotional validation coming to you during this time period. Alrighty, some much needed good news. The Ten of Coins, an emphasis on money. Thank you for everybody who subscribed. I appreciate the love. There's an emphasis on money, so there could be more money coming in for you. This could also be a raise or a promotion coming up, even though there might be some setbacks with certain things or certain things could be taking a while. For some of you, you could be learning something new as well with this energy. So we dating now? 
Mm, no, I'm just getting my flirt on. That's all I'm doing. Why can't I flirt? All right. <laughs> so the death card, this brings about changes at this time with this energy here. So your money situation could be changing for the better at this time. Okay. So this is a good time for money. I would say expect the unexpected with this energy. This could be doors opening up for you that never opened for you before. So this could be an auspicious time with career. The three of coins, a purging happening. So certain things may no longer apply in your life during this time period as well all righty hi dave kisses Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> the ten of cups i see you happy on a financial level and an emotional level at this time the five of swords i feel like you know you still could be getting harassed by other people at work with this energy here or whatever or you're just dealing with people trying to force you into doing things that you don't want to do especially with other people for some of you here you need to change the dialogue in your brain at this time you're really delving you're a saboteur when it comes to things that you want all right i see you being a saboteur with money or a saboteur with love and flip-flopping because you're being impatient with this energy and i know and i'm impatient with this energy too but i'm not a saboteur i'm just impatient okay so it's it's like that kind of energy so be careful with the conversations that you're having with the brain at this time because you're not being so nice with yourself during this time period okay the six of coins you're very giving and generous with this energy so I would be careful here this could be the hand that bites you mm. okay like you feed somebody and then all of a sudden boom all the shit you done for them for what for nothing so I really would be discerning with my giving energy this month like i said i really wouldn't do favors for others because this is a situation here where you either you're going to give for the sake of giving like i said because it's called the bread of shame and you're jumping into the bread of shame and you're giving because you have an agenda okay so you're not giving for the sake of giving now go down to the home page go on my home page scroll down and then the weekly horoscopes for this week are up all right so get a reading so check that out in the link in the description box below so anyway so i feel that you know this is you getting b bitten by somebody at this time because of all the things that you've done for them and now you're like resenting them you're resenting them for everything that they, that you've done for them but really it's your fault because you can't blame them because you chose to give to them but you wanted something out of them too so that's what's going on at this time so you know just be careful with your bread of shame with your giving energy during this time period okay because this person's gonna turn on you real quick too all right the hierophant card prayers are going to be answered at this time with this energy as i connect with this energy it really does not mean this but i do feel like other people are going to be jealous of you let the haters hate kiss my ass okay and let them hate let them eat my ass if they have to <laughs> so you know it's like i don't give a crap because you know what you deserve your good so who gives a crap what other people think just let them you know let them do what they're gonna do because who cares you know because at the end of the day you got to make a living at the end of the day you're gonna die so who cares do you boo boo don't worry about the haters the haters are confused fans they're very confused they don't know if to love you or to hate you so they're very confused and that's okay the um king of swords you're very analytical in your way of thinking at this time this could also be money worries but not to worry about money let that go let that consciousness of lack go away okay i deal with that all the time doing what i do trust and believe and it's like damn but i don't let it get to me i focus on things that i can control i delve into prayer you know i ask god take the wheel you know and god takes the wheel and then i just like I'm just like, okay, you know, so take the wheel, God. All righty. The Six of Swords, I see you very much in your head at this time. Let it go, Elsa. Let it go. Don't be in your head. You know, when you're not in your head and you're focusing on other people's problems for the sake of focusing on other people's problems, you guys really do well. Libras and Cancers, like I always say, the most powerful manifestors of the Zodiacs, okay? The most powerful. 
Y'all need to tap into that, all right? And you really need to manifest, you know? You really need to feel it in your heart. Like right now, I'm manifesting love. I'm manifesting my soulmate. You know, I started watching this video about this woman. Let me see. What's her name? I'm going online. I'm going on my Facebook right now. Uh, so, um, I don't know her name. Let me see her name. Hold on. Thank you, Dave. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Her name is... Oh, poo. I'm going to have to click on it, and I don't want to because then it's going to start making noises. But I just subscribed to her recently, and she talks about, like, kissing and making out and stuff like that and, like, all this stuff. And you know what? And I felt it in my heart, and I was like... And she's, like, telling you... This is for everyone. This is for everybody trust and believe it's for everybody it's just whatever energy i'm picking up on sometimes it's for my lgbtq community and sometimes we try to figure out the guy in the gym is the guy in the gym straight or gay what's going on with him i mean why he being like that but it's not for kids no 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 not for kids no no because sometimes to talk the talk because when i have to talk about my lgbtq community and then we got to go into Tinder and Grinder. Sometimes it just gets a little bit like reckless. You know, like right now is for Tinder and Grinder. Definitely. Not not for not for like real things, you know. Yes, I'm reading cards and doing astrology, you know. So yeah. If you would like a reading with me, check it out in the link in the description box below. So anyways, so this is a time for you to start settling down. For some of you, this could be thinking about moving at this time with this energy here. For others of you, this could be thinking about retirement with this energy. The Queen of Swords, you can be going through it emotionally during this time period as well. So be careful with that. Or you're dealing with dominating women in your life with this energy here. I'm reading what's coming up for the for the month of April, so you can check it out on my homepage. I talk, I you see what I do, okay? Okay. So, anyways, so I feel like for some of you here, you have a lot of influence over other people. For some of you, this could be like you talking to other people. Oh, Scorpio. Um, well, it what date of birth? No, if you again, if you would like a reading for me, you can check it out in the link in the description box below. I don't do free readings. Sometimes I do by accident, but not all the time. So anyways, so I feel like for some of you here, you could have like a lot of influence of, of, over other people. I see confrontation happening. So for some of you, you know, try to stick to the facts with this energy here. Oh, Scorpio. I haven't done Scorpio's video for the monthlies. The weekly horoscopes are up. So if you want to check that out, check that out. So anyways... So you could be going through it at this time with this energy. For some of you here, despite the energies at this time, for some of you, this is overcoming like doubt at this time. So you could definitely be receiving some much needed good news. This could be things actually finally happening despite the energies, okay? The Nine of Swords, get the hell out of your head. Be careful of being reprimanded at work with this energy. You could be getting into fights with other people at work at this time. For some of you, you're over certain people people with this energy here well it is for free because we're still on here and i haven't charged anybody for a horoscope um so those are free and then i charge readings for individuals so you can check that out in the description box below the king of wands i feel like this could be a great time for collaborations on the job training could be happening for some of you this could be getting an internship for others of you again collaborations could be coming up at this time with this energy here as well the emperor card i feel with this energy here that for some of you the focus could be on the men in your life during this time period or the focus could be on like somebody really coming to your rescue at this time is what I'm see I'm hearing as well. So yeah, I'm hearing like this person's like your hero. So this could be a really great time where you do benefit through the men in your life financially or some a family member could be pulling you out of like whatever it is that you're stuck in at this time and like kind of like helping you out at this time financially. So you may benefit through the men in your life at this time with this energy. Yep. You're welcome so yeah it could be like that kind of situation happening for some of you this could be business paying up at this time no i do not want baby jesus to come back okay baby jesus needs to stay in his own damn lane <laughs> 
No, we're doing Libra right now. And also you can check out Astro Theme to see what your rising is. I have the link in the description box below. Just check out the link in the description box below. The Eight of Coins, I feel like you can be a perfectionist when it comes to work, or you could be dealing with obsessive thinking at this time with this energy here, all righty? So get the hell out of your head. It is not the place to be. For some of you here, I do see that this could be a great time for those of you in media and social media at this time. So you could be receiving, for some of you, if you start like a GoFundMe page, I feel like you could be very surprised about how many people will help you at this time. Or you could be starting a GoFundMe from somebody else. But remember, you might get your hand bitten in the process. All right, so remember to just give for the sake of giving. Let them give credit to whoever else they're gonna give credit to with this energy here. No, because you've asked me enough questions and I'm trying to finish this so I can go on to Scorpio and then go to bed. So the Knight of Wands, I see fortune bubbling over at this time with this energy here as well. The Seven of Swords, you can be more quiet and to yourself with this energy. For some of you, you know, it is Mercury in retrograde. So despite the energies, I do feel like you're going to be leaving a situation during this time period. Oh, you're welcome, Mary. I do feel like you're going to be leaving a situation. You might leave it during the Mercury retrograde. But again, it's a process, so it's going to be six months before you actually leave the situation. But at the same time, the moment you decide to leave the situation, you're going to see the blessing in it. So for some of you, you may get the process started, and you may already see the blessing. So this means that you might kick somebody out of the house, and then you'll see the blessing in the situation start to happen. But it's going to be a process. So you two, let's say it's a, it's a divorce happening, and you kick your partner out of the house, and then like for the next six months, you two are like on again, off again, because they may do something cute or whatever, you know, and stuff like that. And then they may talk sweet on you, and then you may take them back for a little bit. So it's like a situation here. For some of you okay bye for some of you this could be you um taking on the leadership role in your family at this time and like basically organizing things with family creating functions to do with family being more about family for some of you you could be like having easter at your house the moon card this is romanticizing relationships or you're trying to recreate something in your head that you used to have so you could be very nostalgic for family during this time period as well the knight of coins the mind on the money and the money on the mind so for some of you here this is money worries or this could be more money coming to you during this time period, all righty? The nine of coins, money worries, all righty? So be careful with your spending during this time period. I do feel like you're going to be happy and fine on an emotional level and a financial level. But for some of you, like I said, you're your own worst enemy. You're your own saboteur. So you need to be careful and pick and choose your thoughts wisely during this time period, okay? Because it could be a situation here where like, you like if you own a bit your own business like i do you got to be strategic on how you save your money and what you do with your money you can't just like spend your money in three days or else you're not going to have any money and then on top of that then by the end of the month it's all shown up you have like you made like so much money and it's like where did it go so you know you got to be strategic on your spending during this time period all right so be careful with your spending at this time and how you spend your money because you may you may realize that oh well everything worked out okay everything happened with this energy okay so it could be like that i already did cancer's video you could check that out um wait is it cancer i'm so tired right now yeah i already did cancer's video that's already up if you want to go check that out so, you know, just be careful where your thoughts go with this energy. The Three of Swords traveling is coming up at this time as well. For some of you here, I feel like you could be escaping a situation. Not like it's, you know what, it's really early in the morning for me, so... This is like you kind of like dealing with like a turn of events in your life at this time with this energy here. Then Leo's already done, so you could go check out Leo. Um... I do see traveling coming up at this time with this energy here 
for some of you here but I do feel like for some of you here you could be escaping a situation not like it's a violent situation it's just an annoying situation and you just want to be done and over with it with this energy like you're so over it and you're like I just want to be you know not here the Sun card I feel like that you could feel grounded with this energy I see emotional validation coming to you as well with this energy here during this time period for some of you you stand out more for your unique talent or what you bring to the table all I are on you trust your intuition emotional validation is coming to you truth is being revealed at this time for some of you here i feel this is not the time to go reading into situations thinking that you're psychic because i feel like you could be reading too much into what somebody is doing or what somebody is not doing at this time with this energy here okay and then i feel like what is going to happen is that this is going to be an energy where you're going to be like disappointed or you're going to be assuming that somebody's going to get fired at this time or something like that when they're not or you're assuming that somebody likes you or doesn't like you and things like that so try to be about facts at this time somebody could be giving you mixed signals at this time with this energy and you don't know if you're coming or going you don't know how they really feel about you with this energy you're trying to predict it yourself okay the wheel of fortune card you could there could be clarity coming from you from whatever is confusing you at this time so if you're receiving like mixed signals from somebody or you feel like somebody really likes you but they haven't done anything then this could be expect the unexpected so you could be receiving some unexpected messages at this time with this energy from this person and there could be a lot of things that are going to be cleared up if you felt like somebody didn't have your back or you were suspicious of others this could be truth being revealed at this time and you may know how a person really feels about you so this is clarity coming to you in an unexpected message okay so just take it as it is the tower card pluto and energy so certain things may no longer apply in your life you could also be manifesting certain things so if you're thinking of yourself i'm gonna get fired i'm gonna get fired i'm gonna get fired guess what you're gonna lose your job so i would be careful with this energy here i do feel like you're gonna be taken out of certain situations in your life i feel like for some of you here you have challenges with other people and you may get burned by other people at this time why are you getting burned by other people because the universe wants to remind you why you should not go back to that person or why you should not help that person anymore so you really need to learn to it's okay to forgive and to forget it's okay to forgive but never forget you know that kind of situation but never go back okay the chariot card fate Ooh, so some of you really got some stuff coming up some real changes coming up for some of you could be moving out of somebody's house because you just don't want to be in that situation I will not forget you don't want to be in that situation anymore okay so I feel like fate is definitely intervening at this time with this energy alrighty now I'm gonna go on to Scorpio and then after that that'll be the end of it I'm available for readings and natal chart reports and reports and reports so you can check that out in the description box below if you want to know your rising your first house and stuff like that because these videos are based on the rising the first house and the Sun you can check out astro theme as well okay and thank you for everybody for subscribing I really appreciate the love and kisses and I'm going on to Scorpio bye